We'll find out as we go to game number two. And here we go. Welcome once again to the English Desk here. I'm nice to join with Ingon. And you saw the lineup ratings. Welcome here, to man. Mobile it's, Legends. Uh, it's quite a difference. About a 7.5 versus a 4.9 or so. But this time around, we'll see if Rora can at least get to a later game. Because if you missed game one, it was because it was a record breaking. What is 934 or so? So we'll see. Adjustments here. Egon, how are we feeling about the lineups? Okay, so so far, I like that the Terizla is finally on the XP lane in yeah. the hands of Edward. Because yesterday, we saw Edward rock this Terizla. Huge, huge win. Huge, huge gameplay coming in from Legend Zero. So. And uh, looking back at the lineup rating again, Aurora has a more balanced lineup. So I think they can counter out or at least prevent the early aggression that Fnatic, Fnatic Onyx plans to do. Yeah, part of this too is, I mean, we've seen this a couple of times now, like uh, Leo and Rockhart mentioned, you know, the EVE, it's only, what, two, maybe two players, right, that have, have found success on it. Few. Super Prince and Few being those two. Few players. Yeah, yeah. literally a few players. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, you know, for the most part, like, yeah, you want to fight around the box, but I think even regardless of the EVE or not, the big thing here is, once again, Brusco having his hands here on the Gata Concha. Like, this is going to be a problem, I feel like, for Rora. Okay, stun onto oh. Brusco. You want to burst him down. Wow. But instead, Renegade is the one who's going to fall. First Blood will be picked up by Brusco, the one they were targeting. You know I mean? Turn it around. As I was just saying, like, that, yeah. is, that is the big thing for me, because right now the teams that do go ahead and grab... Damn race between... Uh, total minutes watched, hours watched versus all, total damage. We're all about billions today. Yeah, billions. Man, what, I, what would I do for some billions? Billions of what? Pesos. Pesos? Pesos yeah. or dollars, whichever, I, you know? I you mean, know what I would do? Uh, I would get all the recalls of all the teams at MPL PH. That's the first thing you would do if you yes. had billions. All right, you know what? That means I need a financial advisor. No, we'll <laughs> leave it at that. You know, yeah, at that point, no, you just you have all the calls. <laughs> Turtles up here, second one of the game. Back to it, Kurt holding down the front side. Reg trying to get some vision there as well. Okay. They're going to go for this. King Kong waiting patiently. Super Prince also picking up the Glowing Wand in this. They'll take their time. Is Demon Kai able to get this? Well, Rusko with the AOG, and this time King Kong gets the turtle. Rusko pops his revitalized. They'll want to go Ooh. over Reggie. Edward goes in with a penalty. Zolta, the new woman. If they come in for Super Prince. And let's see, because King Kong's still King Kong. working on Yue, and he's going to bring down Yue. A turtle plus a kill. No trades for Aurora. Yeah, that time around, Aurora doesn't get the turtle. Unfortunately for them, and you see how like slow they're taking those too. Like they're taking them that turtle to about half health or a little bit lower. They wait, they wait and wait, and then Fnop just like yeah, we'll fight you. And that's the power once again of having this real world manipulation, having the options to even just jump in with Brusco with the Avatar of the Guardian. Because you can see this, you know, he doesn't even have that. You always have to worry about where is this guy hero landing on. He's like the, that's what he's doing. He's the epitome of uh, tower dive. Literally he's literally diving. A tower dive. He's literally tower dive. Might be even tankier than a tower. Yeah. King Kong works on the top lane third, but Renegade though, he has a stun. Okay, he's gonna wait patiently for the perfect opportunity to strike. This is his moment, but is there enough follow through and a follow up from this? Turtle's gonna go for a reset. Oh, so oh, close tag on the domain because the one v one between the two boldainers. Oh, well, they're okay. doing it out. Okay, now good zone here for Renegade on the King Kong as Aurora works on the turtle. They will get an uncontested turtle. Now they want to go for more. Bringing on Brusco. Will there be a counterattack coming in from Fnatic though? And they, there was almost a kill from Keller onto Doming. He was able to cast a crossbow tank, but still lacked the damage to do it. He canceled oh, this recall. He wanted to go for Keller. Oh, he wants the, the kill. The, the, the next standard might fall in the hands though of Super Prince and Kirk. There's the <laughs> counterattack and the recall from Kirk. Kirk. Oh man, you gotta love that. You gotta love their recall here. Renna J, does he want to fight this? Okay, they're able to avoid the Curse of Blood. Brusco, King Kong, Super Prince is here. New woman manipulation again from, from Super Prince. Bounty zone, but Kirk's gonna fall down. They want to go for more. King Kong has to escape. They're, they're up against four. And there was a trade Aurora was willing to take. At this point, because either team can really just win a team fight, right? There's nothing hugely in favor of Fnatic's lineup, except for the fact that, again, rearward manipulation around a Lord is great. So that's why you see, even for Aurora, they kind of have to worry about where is that setup going to come from? Where is also there going to be a jump in? That's always the problem when it comes to these fights. Brusco jumping in. Red and Jay also holding down the front. He's going to go in for the stun. Okay, Curse of Blood. Going to be casted, but Keller though, still able to free it. Edward has to use the penalty. He's on the one. Oh. Okay! <laughs> Connecting on to two. A double kill from Brusco. King Kong works on Demon Kite as Demon Kite backs away. And a perfectly executed Lord Dance for the Sonics. I don't know, man. I think Brusco's after the MVP again. He's got a Katja. You can't even run away. You, ha you have one way to exit, and he's just like, no, that's not happening. AOG's being casted in your turn is not. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? You already defensively used your penalty zone, zone and the flicker. Like, you're, you're, a walk you're a sitting duck, you know? You're not going to get far from that. Here it is again. Okay, AOG again connecting on to three just to zone out and make sure Fnatic will indeed secure an inhibitor turret. Curse of Blood will be cast into well, but the uh, Kelra 
is able to walk away though. In exchange for Brusco, Fnatic Onyx might be able to get an inhibitor in the bottom. As soon as the minions will arrive, we will ventilation coming in from Super Friends though. And Aurora just continuing their immense defense. And now here comes Keldra, trying to work on Renegade. He does have, he has no stacks yet for Keldra for the crossbow of Tang. As Domain casts his Ammon Force to make sure to defend the inhibitor turrets. That's time around, Brusco jump For Aurora, the thing is, you have a lot of kit, you have the Curse of Blood, you have the Belt Zone. Uh, a, lot, a lot even Zapping Force and of course the ult coming in from Yue. I think at this point, with a lead established by Fnatic Onyx, 6.2k, you need at least all to connect. <laughs> so you have a chance of going up against the Sonic, especially with the second Lord. Even with that lead, look at this. They're still gonna take some time off this Lord. Oh. Not going, oh no! Ray J goes in with the Curse of Blood onto the back line, but gonna get punished by King Kong with Fracture AOG again. Coming in from Brusco, but Domingo has his right back with a kill of his own as Kirk brings down Domingo. Oh, Here comes Keldra all the way from the back, working on Demon Kite. Not even afraid to go up against two. Edward getting back up a kill onto Kirk. And a 1v1 between Keldra and Iwe. And that's it. King Kong works on the base, but Demon Kite and Edward is here. They have minions onto the middle, uh, bottom lane. It's going to be in hand. Kelra just continuing to work on Edward. Here comes the crossbow tag. Eventually, he's going to bring down Legend Zero. Legend Zero stays alive. And the defense from Aurora will succeed. Oh, I thought that was going to be it, man, but unfortunately not enough. And King Kong was marching in with those minions. But Rora will live to fight another day. That body of Smith passive really came in clutch there for Redward. Not going down, but right now the Lord is up. f not will go ahead and get in position for this. Rora, it looks like they still want to fight, possibly, to try to steal this away or do something. But again, they're just throwing their bodies towards f not really wanting to fight. Oh. Waiting for a better result. Okay, AOG coming in from Brusco all the way to the back. Oh, and Demon oh, oh. Kai, that's the Lord! But they're gonna bring down Domingue, Renegade, and Demon Kai. Fnatic on, it doesn't oh, care man. about the Lord. They Goodbye. wanna go for the kill. Goodbye, Iue. Goodbye, game two. Fnatic is on match point. Took them a little bit longer, but they're gonna charge up and wait to march into the base here as they go and show off. They're all charged up. Fnatic just savoring the moments, and again, thunder, lightning. Brighter than the lights of Aurora. Match point for the top seed this season. Thunder struck right there. Fnatic on Philippines. They make it look too easy right now. What's going on here? This is definitely a refined version of what we even saw in the regular season. If you could get better than that, but panel, Leo Rockhart, take it away.